Hey guys, this is True Cubing, and in this video, we're going to teach you CFOP, which is one of the best speed cubing methods out there. So this method consists of four parts. C, which stands for the cross. F, which stands for F2L, first two layers. O, which stands for the orientation of the last layer. And P, which stands for the permutation of the last layer. So obviously, the first step is to solve the cross. Now, in the beginner method, you would solve the white daisy and then solve the cross. But in this method, we can directly insert pieces into the top layer. So, looking around the cube, we can observe four cross pieces over here. Now, we can solve these one by one. The first edge, which is already solved, just needs to be aligned with its center over here. The next edge we can see is over here. And the white sticker belongs up here. So, what we need to do is misalign the top layer and now we can insert this edge like that and then move the top layer back and we've solved our two cross edges. The next edge we can see is for example this one and we can move this one over here with a U2 to bring that position over here and now we can do an L prime U2 and that solves three cross edges. The last cross edge we can do is over here. Now we notice that if we do an F2 this edge will be flipped. So what we need to do is do an F move. So now it's going to be in the middle layer. And now we can do what we did previously, which is misalign the top layer and then insert this white sticker until it's on the top and move it back. And now we've solved our cross. The next step is to solve all your F2L. So we notice we've got four F2L pairs all around the cube. And what we need to do is solve the corner with its corresponding edge. Um, so for example, this corner and this edge belong in this slot. The first step of solving your F2L pair is to bring them onto the top layer. So by putting your cross on the bottom, we can take out this corner, for example, with an L prime, U prime, L. And we can do the same for this edge with an R, U prime, R prime. And now we've got uh, both our pieces onto on the top layer. Now notice that if you do an R, U, R prime, this corner gets put back into this slot, which is not what we want. The next step to solve an F2L pair is to split up this pair. So here our pair is connected. So what we can do is hide the corner, move this edge around the top layer anywhere except for over here because otherwise it will go into this back position when we bring this corner back up. Uh, so we can put it here and, so and bring this corner back up. And now we're going to have one of three cases. The first case is when the white sticker is facing the top. So to deal with this case, what we need to do is align the edge with its corresponding center. So not like this, but like this. And now what we need to do is hide this edge away from the slot. So if it belongs into this slot, we need to bring this away. And now what we need to do is move its corresponding corner on top. So this corner needs to go over here on top of that pair. And now we bring that corner back down and we've paired up an F2L pair. Now to insert it, all we need to do is move this out of the way and bring up this slot with an R and then solve it with a U prime, R prime. The next case you could get is when the white sticker is facing the side, but the corner and edge have the same color on top. So to deal with this case, we need to hide the corner so that the white sticker does not end up on the bottom. So this would not work. But if we do this move, this white sticker will not be on the bottom. Next, we need to bring this edge up to the position so that when we bring up this corner again, it will pair up. So not over here, because again, that would go to the back. And over here, obviously, doesn't connect it. So we do that. And now we've got our pair, and we can just insert it. Now we need to be careful with this case that we don't disrupt another pair while we're solving it. So imagine we were hiding this corner here, and then bring this corner on this edge on top. We notice that we've got a back pair over here that's already solved. So what we need to do is make sure that there's an unsolved edge in the back right position when we're hiding this corner. It's the same concept if we've got the mirrored case. Um, but in this case, we need to make sure that an unsolved slot is in the front right position when we're hiding the corner, bringing the edge on top and bringing it back down. And now we can insert that pair. The last case you can get is again when the white sticker is facing the side, but the stickers on top aren't the same. 
So what we need to do in this case is make sure that the pair looks like this and not like this when we're inserting it into this slot. So how I like to think of it is the sticker on the side that's not white needs to be able to match up to that in one move. So if we were in this position, this sticker cannot match up with this edge in one move. So once we've got it into this position, what we can do is solve it with an L prime, U prime, L. Now what this does is it matches up the pair at the back and then moves it into this slot and brings it back down. We can also get this case from the opposite side. Um, so in this case, this sticker can match up with this one in one move and it belongs into this slot. So we can do an R, U, R prime to solve this pair. So if you follow these three steps, taking out the edge or the corner onto the top layer and then splitting them up and then figuring out the case, and there are three types of cases, then you'll be able to solve any F2L case around the cube. So here's a quick example of an F2L. So the first pair we can see is this, this edge and this corner. We can take out this corner and put it onto the top layer like this. So now they're already split up and we just need to recognize the case. This case we've got is when the white sticker is on the top. So remember how we deal with this case is we match up this edge, put it away from its slot, which is here, move the corner on top and bring this back down. And now we can insert this pair with an R, U prime, R prime. Next case we have is this edge and this corner, for example. This edge is already on the top layer, but this corner isn't. So we can take it out like this. And now they're already split up. And now we've got the case where the the colors of the edges are different and the white sticker is on the side. So remember, we can solve this in one move. So all we need to do is place it above its slot and bring that slot up to pair it up, move it across and bring it back down. Next pair we got, we got lucky and we got a free pair. So all we need to do is go R, U prime, R prime to insert that pair. The last pair is over here. This corner is already on the top layer, but this edge isn't. So we can go L prime, U, L to put this pair onto the top layer. Now what we need to do is split it up. Now if we try to hide the corner to split up this edge, you'll realize that we're unsolving this pair. So what we need to do is hide the corner in a way so that an unsolved slot at the back here comes out. And now we've got this case, we match up the edge, hide the edge, bring the corner on top, bring it back down and insert this edge. Now that we're onto our last layer, the first step is to orient it. And the first sub step is to create the yellow cross, just like in the beginner method. So again, we can use that same algorithm from the beginner method. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. That changes the orientation of edges around your cube. So you're always gonna have an even number of edges solved. The first case is when you have zero edges oriented. All you need to do is perform the algorithm in any orientation, and now you're gonna get the next case. The next case is when you have an L and you place yourself so that the L is on the back left position and you perform that algorithm. And now you'll have the next case. This last case is when you have a bar. So you need to place yourself so that it's in a horizontal position. So not like this. Now you perform that algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Now that we've oriented our edges, we need to orient our corners. So for this, we're gonna use the algorithm, which goes, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U2, R prime. And this is called the soon. So this soon orients all your corners when you're in this position. So it sort of looks like a fish. So you hold the solved corner in the front left position and this, this corner will be facing you. And when you've got this case, if you perform the soon in this position, all your corners will be solved and you've oriented your last layer. However, it's not always that easy. You can get many other cases for your last layer. This case is nearly the same. It has that same fish shape, except the yellow sticker is not at the front, it's on the side. When you've got this case, you can just perform that soon in this position. And now you'll have the real soon. Again, you place yourself so the front right corner is solved. I've only shown you two cases, but there are many others out there. You just have to repeat that same soon algorithm over and over again until it's solved. So this is again, another one of them. Just perform that soon. And now we have the fake soon. And now we have the real soon. 
I'll let you guys try it out for yourself and see if you can come up with the fastest way to solve each case with just the Sun algorithm. The last step in solving the Rubik's Cube with the CFOP method is to permute your last layer. So the way we do this is we look for the positioning of the corners. If we can see that there are two headlights, so this is when two corner stickers on the same side are matching, and you place yourself so that they're on the left, then you perform the algorithm which is called the T-perm. R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F. And now you've solved all your corners. Another case you can get is when there are no headlights around the cube, so the corners need to be swapped diagonally. When you have this case, you can place yourself in any position and perform this algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime. And now you've solved all your corners. Now the last step is to permute your edges. So what we're gonna do is use this algorithm to cycle three edges around your top layer. R2, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R prime. So again, you can have many different cases, but the main thing you need to look for is a bar. When you've got this solved bar, place it at the back and perform that algorithm. Again, you may do repeat this algorithm twice, like in this case. And again, until it's solved. You can also get the case where there is no solved bar. To deal with that, you just place yourself in any position, perform that algorithm until you get a bar. And now again, you place yourself at the back, perform that algorithm once or twice. So this is how you solve a cube with CFOP, which is a faster speed solving method than the beginner's method. We hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.